Welcome for joining us on this next uh, video here at uh, Earth Surfing. So it's been a while since we've done other vids, a uh, video about equipment and stuff like that. And it's my fault, mostly, but it's almost winter time. And this is going to be a strange winter. And that's also why we're not doing this one in the snow just yet. Because we all know that Corona might throw a wrench in the gears when it comes to a proper winter sports season. There's still some positivity. It looks like we can go, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So let's talk about this snowboard right here. This is the um, Yes Typo, the brand new Yes Typo for coming season, for upcoming or for some of you maybe started season. Uh, so this is the 21 edition. <coughs> It's fitted here with uh, my personal now select bindings. Um, I always think that now bindings are a really good fit on uh, yes boards, but they're also really good fits on Jones snowboards and, well, personally, for me, on all boards because I really like how now bindings ride. We will do it. Uh, we will discuss now bindings in an upcoming video because I feel these deserve some extra explanation. Behind. Uh, for why they are so much better on snowboards than others. But let's go back to the snowboard, to the Typo. This is a, one, uh, a 163 wide, so it's a pretty big board. Um, I, uh, I find it, for what I used it last, a little bit too large, but that's my own fault. Uh, I like riding long boards and I was indoor and I was jibbing, buttering on it and I just caught some edge and I just slammed like face planted on what well what, what's best to describe is just an ice plate it hurt uh, <laughs> but um it's a perfect board for resorts like if if you like to ride it long or ride it short it will do you just it justice in pretty much any resort you can come up with uh it's it does well uh in powder i haven't ridden it in powder in about a year so i i'm pretty sure this one still does well, but let me remind you. Let me let, let's go through some of the um, some of the uh, specs on this thing. It's a mid stiffness and a scale one to ten on Yes's own website. They give it a six. I'll believe it. It's a full poplar wood core. Uh, amazing response. A little bit stiff in the t tip and tail, so it allows for a nice snap out of it. Uh, what I most like about these boards is the underbite profile. So the board dips in under the bindings, dips out, dips in under the bindings again. It just allows for a little bit of easier transition into your corners and a lot of edge hold. This is something I really like about the underbite profile that Yes boards have, is that they just uh, hold on to your, uh, hold their edge deep into the snow or if you hit an ice plate, you just are so much more comfortable right off the bat. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say. It's got a proper center base, so it actually absorbs wax really well, slides really well across the snow. Uh, this one still has a partial fresh wax on it, but it was used indoors, so it really needs to be redone. But uh, I really enjoyed riding the Typo again a couple of weeks ago. And if you're looking for a good resort board, and with a lot of edge hold that will do you a justice when you hit an ice uh, with a, when you hit an ice sheet or something you really should be looking at picking up one of these so that's about it for the typo i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it like and subscribe um, and we'll be coming up soon with another video about a board uh, which is well completely opposite of this one so Thanks for watching again. See you guys.